Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to take these PVC tubes and turn them into a projector screen. And we're going to use this when we go out camping. It's a lightweight, portable, and easy to set up. So check it out. Now let's go over some of the parts that we're going to need to build this projector screen. I'll have links down below for everything that you're going to need to put this thing together. So we're going to need some uh, metal rods. I used aluminum. We're going to need some 3 quarter inch PVC tubing and some fittings. Now the metal rod I used here is aluminum and that's what's going to hold this whole stand up and I'll show you that in a little bit. Alright so let's go over the projector screen. Uh, the link is down below. Uh, it's a very cheap $20 screen, uh, 60 inch in size, and it's like a spandex material. So it's very stretchy, and it's got the, uh, the black edging going all the way around it with a couple of rings in it. So the first thing is you want to lay this thing down, and you want to cut your PVC tubings to the correct length. Uh, so you basically want to stretch this out a little bit, but not too much. Now my original plan included some braces going down the center and one across the middle but later on I ended up taking all those out and just went with a rectangle type of shape with no braces going down the center or across the middle. So here's the part where we start cutting the PVC tubing and you have to make sure you cut them to the correct length. Now basically you just stretch the material out and kind of eyeball it and see where you're going to put your fittings at. Now you want them a little bit longer so that way when you put the bungee cords in you'll see that at the end the bungee cords kind of pull the screen tight to the frame so if anything cut them a little bit longer than what you think you might need and you can always take them apart and then just trim them up so here you can see I got the uh, tops and bottoms cut out so I got two on top two on bottom later on I make those one solid piece going straight across now on the sides, same thing. I was going to put a brace going across, and you can see I just skipped it right there. I just figured I didn't need it, so I just totally eliminated that center piece going across. So it's starting to take shape. As you can see, the screen is much smaller, but remember, it's like a spandex material, so you want to be able to pull it evenly all the way around the screen. Now here's that section that I was telling you about that I ended up skipping later on and basically you could see that tubing through the screen. So I ended up coming up with a different idea and I ended up removing that center piece eventually. Unfortunately here I had to use some zip ties to hold the screen to the PVC tubing. The bungee cords that I purchased didn't show up yet and they will eventually and I'll show you. So here we go, I got the corners and the center stretched out, zip tied in, and I really don't like it. So down in the comments, let me know what you think that looks like right there. Uh, so we definitely got to fix this because it just looks too stretched out in the corners and the centers. It just, it looks awful. So here I am kind of pulling, I'm like thinking, well, gee, a couple more grommets in here would be perfect. Now when I purchased this on Amazon, it showed a lot more grommet holes than what is there. So I think they were showing a photo for one of the bigger screens. Now those parts that I just cut there, those were for the legs. You can cut those to whatever height you want. If you want your screen to be up higher, make them longer. If you want it down lower, it's totally up to you. Okay, so we stand it up and you can see that center brace and that brace ends up coming out eventually. And I'll explain that why. So here I'm putting the grommets in. I bought some grommets off of Amazon. I had no idea how to put them in. All I can say is the punch does not work. It doesn't put a hole through the fabric. So I basically cut the holes with some scissors and pushed the grommets in and then smashed them together. And I had to watch a couple of videos on how to do this. So the top section didn't turn out so great, but the bottom, I eventually got the hang of it and they turned out great. Now when I had that center piece going up and down in the middle, you could actually see through it and it looked like a shadow when you're watching a movie. So here I'm taking them out and I'm going to do one solid piece going straight across the top and the bottom. Got a lot of flex in the tube. So basically I found this aluminum tubing, this stuff right here, and I basically insert it into the PVC tube 
and it took away a lot of that flex. So you can see one piece flexes quite a bit and the other one doesn't. So aluminum tubing that I found was I think a three foot section and it wasn't long enough to go from one end of the tube to the other. So basically I'm putting some shrink tube on here and some electrical tape just to make it fit snug inside that PVC tube. That way I can push it right towards the center of the PVC tube and get that flex out of there just to stiffen up that pipe is basically all we're doing. So by looking at this now, you can see there's only a couple pieces. You don't have all these extra braces in here, which makes it much easier to carry around. Now with the frame reinforced, we're gonna go out to the garage and take those metal rods and we're gonna basically put a point on them. And this part is optional, you don't have to do this. Now, like I said, this part is optional. You don't have to put the point on, but it's much easier to put these rods in the ground with a point on them. And that's what's gonna hold up the whole projector screen. Now we're gonna start working on the support arms. This will keep the screen from rocking back and forth. And the nice thing is you just need one arm on each side of the screen. So you basically just drill a hole through it and you're gonna use these pins to go through. And these are the same type of pins that you use for a trailer hitch. Now we're gonna put in a stake for the bottom legs, the support arms. And you basically just drill another hole, uh, angle it, and then you can take like a metal rod, bend it over at one end, and you can make your own stake. And that will anchor down the support arm to the ground and keep it from kicking back and forth. So let's mount our screen to the frame. And to do that, we're gonna use some bungee balls. These are four inch lengths. That's what I chose to use. And they keep the screen nice and tight, um, but not too tight. So they work great. I ended up buying four inch and six inch and I ended up going with the four inch. And as you can see in the corners, there's two on each corner, one on top, one on the side. Now, if you're looking for a projector to take outside with you, make sure you check out the review video I did on that Anchor Nebular Solar. So everything looks great. The extra grommets definitely made a huge difference. So let's take this thing outside and I'll show you a time-lapse video of me setting this thing up. Now, even though this is a time-lapse video, I did time myself putting this whole thing together. So just putting the frame up took me two and a half minutes. And do you remember when I put the point on the rods? This is why I did that. Look how easy they just push right into the ground. Now, once I got this all set up, it took me an additional two and a half minutes to get the screen mounted to the frame using the bungee balls. So all together, it took me five minutes to set up this whole screen. Now, in most cases, you probably won't need to use these support arms, but boy, they sure made a huge difference. So if it's a little windy, uh, the screen's gonna shake a little bit with the wind, but the support arms will keep the whole thing from rocking back and forth. So in a calm day, you're not gonna need these support arms. So again, this part took me two and a half minutes, and it's mostly because it was so windy out. I mean, the wind was just whipping like crazy. Uh, but the bungee balls, they work great. And like I said, they're reusable. And also, if you look to the right, you can see my four inch PVC tubing sitting on top of my fence. Basically, it's the same type of uh, frame. I put it together and I use bungee balls with a screen that's kind of uh, stretchy. And that's my 120 inch screen that I set up for the backyard. This screen here is 60 inches, and this is what we're going to use when we go out camping. Okay, and we're all done. So we'll take our metal rods, put those inside of our support arms, and then we'll take all of our PVC tubing, and we'll just tie everything up with a couple extra bungee balls, and we're done. So there we go. We have our lightweight portable projector screen and you can also make this any size you want. It doesn't have to be a 60 inch. You could do an 80 inch if you wanted to. As always, we appreciate you watching our videos and please give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.